Hi guys, let's start the briefing for this stage. Hello cycling fans everywhere. If we take into account the only finish at the Peragud Altiport, we can expect a battle between the favourites, and why not? Changes in the general classification. Remember in 2017, Romain Bardet triumphed and Chris Fromm gave up his yellow jersey to Fabio Aru. Guys, even if there are no all category mountain passes today, it still remains a very demanding stage. You've got to watch yourselves on the final ascent because the last kilometer is really steep. Have a good stage. It's looking good. You've got more than a minute's lead on the peloton. The intermediate sprint is looming for the front of the race. It will enable the first 15 to score points towards the green jersey standings. When going downhill, the aerodynamic position is useful to increase speed without expending energy. The yellow jersey is 1 minute 30 away from you. You have 30 seconds lead on the yellow jersey. Peloton is two kilometers from the summit. The Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The head of the race is finished with a the descent. There's now a short transition which serves as feed zone before starting the Urquet Dancizal climb. And it's off for the climb of the Urquet Dancizal. The last time the Tour de France made this ascent, it was the British climber Simon Yates who was the first ever the top. A few kilometers later, he won it by coming out on top in a sprint against his breakaway companions.
That was in 2019, and it was the final difficulty of the day. I'll make a big effort on the relay. The end of the stage is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. Okay, I'll consume a feed. The front runners begin the Col de Val Luro as a climb. More than 10 kilometers of effort. The lead riders, 1 minute 30 on the favorites. One minute between the favorites and the guy in the front. I'll make a big effort on the relay. Okay, I'll consume a feed. has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. The lead rider has 30 seconds on the favourites. I don't know if it's a bluff, but the breakaway looks to be increasing the pace at the front of the race. Come 
¡Eso es, chavales! ¡Un Watch out, there's an attack. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. The Val Luroaze is classified as first category. There will be points towards the polka dot jersey for the first six to the top. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy to attack. You are two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents. Reduce speed a bit, otherwise you'll hit the wall. running on empty. Lift your foot if you don't want to blow up. The way down harbors numerous hairpin bends. The riders will have to be very careful.
Tiger. The front of the race has reached Lou Danviel. Another four kilometers, and it will be at the foot of the final climb. The yellow jersey group is one minute from the head of the race. His team is riding for the overall standings. The front of the race will struggle to widen the gap. The breakaway increases its lead on the yellow jersey group. The advance of the lead group should be enough to carry it to the end. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the yellow jersey. The lead rider has one minute thirty on the favourites. Breakaway threatens the overall standings. He's decided to get his guys to put their foot down. The gap is one minute between the favourites and the guy in the front. The gap between the favourites group and the front is 30 seconds. 30 seconds between the breakaway and the yellow jersey. Only five kilometres left for the man in front. being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. Another three kilometers and it's the finishing line. The stage leader is alone up front. The red pennant is in sight for the front of the race. The lead rider is now onto the Altiport runway. He's got less than 500 meters to go. The percentages of the Altiport are huge. The riders are straining hard to reach the finishing line.
A few minutes ago, he was first across the finishing line. Here is the winner of the Sango Dance Peragut stage. Primoz Roglic. Congratulations to him. He managed to maneuver perfectly to snatch this victory. He can savor that. We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. He is the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. Tadir Pogacar. He will be able to hang this jersey in his trophy room. Let's hope for him that he can add more. He's in sparkling form, and you can clap him loudly. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. Tadej Pogacar. He will be able to hang this jersey in his trophy room. Let's hope for him that he can add more. He's amongst the leading riders this year. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. Richard Carapaz. He will be able to hang this jersey in his trophy room. Let's hope for him that he can add more. He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honors. Here's the white jersey of this Tour de France. Tadej Pogacar. He will be able to hang this jersey in his trophy room. Let's hope for him that he can add more. The podium is good, but I was expecting more from you. We should have won. We lost the yellow jersey. It's today's source of disappointment. 